Alright guys, so it's come to my attention, I haven't told you my name yet. So I'm Ryan, 13 years old, and I make stuff. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this, just a mini knife out of one of these steel faceplates for electrical housings. Yeah, let's get started. Alright, so I just cut this out, and I'm going to use a super simple jig to clean it up. Alright, so that jig absolutely sucked. So I just use my Dremel to clean up this. Now I'm going to switch between sandpaper and this little polishing disc thing to get it nice and shiny. Alright, so I cleaned it up. Now I'm actually going to go back and put tiny little notches right here where my thumb would be for grip. Now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to use my flap disc to bevel this. Alright, so I got it all nice and finished. So now I'm going to do it. Or bevel, I mean. Now I'm going to do an actual finish. I'm going to do like a rock finish thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a, get a container full of rocks, take your knife, put it in the container. Do this. Um, take your knife, put it in the container. Like that. Get it all the way in there. Then I'm going to also do a slash acid thing. So I'm going to pour vinegar in here. Like so. Then I'm going to take the lid. Lid. Put this on here. And I'm just going to shake it up. I'm going to shake it up for a little bit and let it sit for a little bit. Right okay, guys, so I ended up shaking it for a couple of minutes. And then it's been sitting now for about an hour. But while it was sitting, I realized something that was completely stupid of me. And I wanted to drill a hole in it. And I'm kind of too late. So I'm going to try to drill a hole in this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two boards right in between to get as little burning as possible. Because if it burrs, I'm going to need to sand it down. I'm going to need to re-clean it up, redo this. So I'm just going to try this out. Let me open this up and I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Okay, so here it is. I just wiped it off. And now, just to let you guys know, the thing I've been using when I say clean it up is this stuff, this glass cleaner. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. See, this is a lot darker. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look as dark as it looks in the camera. But, yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to try to drill the hole in this with as little burring as possible. Okay guys, so I was trying to drill through this with the wood drill bit out first, and that did not work at all. If you look over here, see this, the wood started to burn. So, I had to switch this to a small drill bit. Now mine looks kind of weird, but learn from my mistakes. Don't use a wood drill bit on metal. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sharpen this with a kitchen knife sharpener. Alright, now I'll just do a paper test. See if it's sharp. Mine, I didn't sharpen that much, so it's probably won't be too sharp. But let's just see here. Yeah. Mine's not that sharp, but you can sharpen yours, but aren't always sharper. So, then another tip I have, because if you remember at the beginning of the video, I use a template for this. So, if you want to get a template, but you don't like, can't find one, or it costs money, just look up a picture of a knife, then come to your printer or screenshot it come to your printer and change the settings so that your printer thinks it's printing on smaller paper even though it's printed on regular size paper then it'll print off a little smaller thing and that's what I did for this so yeah so there you have it here's how to make a mini survival knife if you liked the video make sure you leave a like share it with your friends even if you hated the video share it with your friends be like hey dude look at this video I found it sucks Leave a like. If you have suggestions for videos, leave them in the comments section down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on next. And be on the lookout for another video, because sometime in the near future, I'll be showing you how to make a sheave for one of these. Alright, so bye.